Hey there kids, welcome back. David Eon here down in the museum and today we're going to be taking a look at Ara, a real American hero, my original G.I. Joes from childhood. I showed a tote full of these a couple of weeks back because I had finally gotten them out of storage and I was going to go ahead and set them all up and get them on display and this is them. Everything that I have left. I used to have a lot more than this. I had the Terradrome, I had the Jets, I had both of the tanks, I had the Cobra Hiss, I had the Fang and the Dragonfly and a lot more vehicles and accessories and I had more figures too and all of my straight arm figures are missing. I don't know where any of them are. I don't seem to have them anymore. And none of my other Cobra officers. I got a bunch of Cobras but I had more. But this is what I've got. And I had done the video about a week ago where I was doing repairs on O-rings and I ended up doing repairs on about 10 more. I found them to have like really loose waists so I went and replaced the O-rings on them as well. All except for poor Junkyard who is still in the infirmary because his screw is chewed up. So I'm gonna have to go back to him later. Maybe I can get him out of the infirmary and back on his feet. But all of my stuff is in really excellent condition because I really didn't play with them like all that. I really just kind of displayed them. So everything's in decent shape. One big drawback for me setting up the action figures was that I don't have stands. I had purchased a bulk of stands for these figures, but they don't fit. <laughs> the, the pegs are too large for the holes in their feet. So the stands that I have are more so for more modern Joes. And they won't work with these and that means that they're very precariously sort of stacked here and a domino effect can and has happened you see i got the armored cobra commander and even as a child trying to army build i've got five of the vipers and four techno vipers and eight bats back there all with their little magic motion lenticular stickers intact on their chests and I have this uh, stair stepping display I'll show you the side here so that I can arrange everybody but again they're all just kind of standing there so they could fall over very easily she's a tough one to find with her accessories and again, never played with, you can see that she still has her nail polish intact. The only Joe female with nail polish as far as I know. Loved collecting these as a child. Still really love them now. Would like to get normal stands for them so that they won't fall over because if one falls unfortunately he's going to take about a half a dozen other Joes with him. This is my fridge. Missing his weapon. I cannot find his weapon. I've been looking. I had it. You know who's really bad is sci-fi. Let's jump back up here real quick. Sci-fi, this guy does not want to stay on his feet. I think the, there's an imbalance with his equipment, I think. But I'm a fan of G.I. Joe. 
from 64 to 94. I think after that they started getting really weird. Not that this isn't weird right here. That's a very odd figure. Crocmaster's much better. One of my favorites, or two of my favorites. I used to love when they came with a lot of accessories. And the eel and the snow trooper have a lot of stuff. Really cool. Tunnel Rat's another one of my favorites. Although he's hard to stand up to because his backpack is ridiculously big. This is what's left of my G.I. Joe childhood experience. From a real American hero, anyway. Did you used to watch the cartoon? I used to watch the show. It's kind of silly. It's kind of like the same episode over and over again, almost. You still have any of your Joes from childhood? I think there's just something about it when it's your original ones. Though I'd like to go back and find some of the stuff that I'm missing from when I was a kid. Although these are getting harder to, and harder to find in decent condition. Because again, these are pretty much unplayed with loose. Any thoughts? Do you have a Joe collection? Tell me about it in the comment section down below. Any other suggestions for a video? Tell me down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. And stay tuned for more collection room videos.